Hello guys, welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to script a moving model in Roblox. Here in my workspace, you can see I have part A, which is the red part, part B, which is the blue part, a left staircase, and a right staircase. Part A and part B are base parts. My left staircase is a model. It contains another model and two parts. My right staircase is a model and it just contains a bunch of parts. Next let's go to service script service. We're going to add a script and in your script just enter the following lines. In the first two lines here I'm referencing to the, the two base parts. The next two lines I'm referencing to the two models. So I have part A and part B. I have the left staircase and the right staircase. I'm waiting for 10 seconds. And then I'm going to move part A by changing part A's C-frame. We learned this from our prior lesson. So I'm setting part A C-frame equals to itself plus a vector 3. And my vector 3 is going to move the part up by 10 units. So when you have a base part, this is how you move the part. But if you have a model, a model does not have a C-frame. So you cannot do it this way to move a model. To move a model, I'm going to use the pivot to function. So I'm going to start with my model. I'm going to say left staircase, colon, pivot to. And pivot to is going to take a C frame as a parameter, which is the target C frame where I want to move it to. So here I want to start with the current position of my left staircase and then move it up by 10 units. To get the current position of my left staircase, I'm going to say left staircase colon get pivot get pivot is going to return a C frame of my current model and then now I can add a vector 3 to it vector 3 dot new and we're just going to move it by 0 comma 10 comma 0 which is going to move it up by 10 units you can use the same pivot to function for a base part. For example, I have part B. If I want to move my part B using pivot to, I can do this. Wait for three seconds. And then I'll say part B colon pivot to. I'm going to give it the current C frame of part B. So it's going to be part B dot C frame. And then we're going to add a vector 3 to it. Vector 3 dot new. And again, it's going to be 0, 10, 0. So we're moving everything up by 10 units. And finally, let's come down here and we're going to insert the code for a moving model. I have a for loop that goes from 1 to 100. And basically, it's, we're, we're doing the same thing as the left staircase. The only difference is each time we're only moving up by 0.1 and we're doing it a hundred times. Let's now play and take a look. Alright, so the red brick just moved up and we're waiting for the blue. The blue just move up and then this, the left staircase just moved up. And now I'm standing on the right staircase and it's moving up. Everyone, that's how you built a moving model in Roblox. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.